Alright YouTube, you want to figure out how to tell 24 hour time? Well, that's what I'm here to do. So if you don't know what a 24 hour time or military time is, you look over here on the right hand side and I have on the, on the left hand side 11 a.m., 12 p.m. and then it resets to 1 p.m., 2 p.m., etc. onto 11 p.m. and back to 12 a.m. That's a normal 12 hour clock. On a 24-hour clock, it goes 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way down to 23. And once it gets to 23:59, it'll reset itself to 0, 0, 0, 0. And then it'll go on to 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, all the way up to 0, 100, 0, 200, 0, 300, and so on. It's just a 24-hour instead of a 12-hour. And how to easily tell the time in these... A real quick tip if you are just starting out is to take the second number when it's a 1, if there's a 1 in front of it, take the second number and minus it by 2. So 7 minus 2 is 5. So this would be 5 p.m. in a 12 hour time. So at 1300 even though it's right after 12, it would be 1 o'clock. So there is a 1 in front of it, so ignore the 1. 3 minus 2 would be 1, so it would be 1 p.m. Now if you have something like this, 2300, even though it's right before 2400, and if you didn't figure that out, the trick still applies. Take the 3 and minus it by 2, so it would be a 1. But in this situation, when there's a 2 in front of it, just change the 2 to a 1, and it's 11. So it's 11 p.m. When you have something like this, 2100, and the 1 cannot be minus by 2, and if you really think smart and you think negatives, it's not how it works. Just reset it to 9. Or think of this as an 11. When you use this as a 1, think of this as 11. So 11 minus 2 is 9, so it would be 9 p.m. Or you could just, like I said, remember this as just being a 1 and just separate this, completely separate, not 11. This is just remember this as a 1 like we did down here. And this 1, just do 1, 0, and then reset it back to 9. Still the same thing, and you'll get 9. Any questions, class? So, if you think about it the other way, and you have, let's say, 1.20 a.m., the only thing you're going to do for the a.m. is just add a zero to the front, so it's 0, 1.20. Same thing with 5, it will be 0, 5. And with 11 a.m., you don't put a zero in front of it, it's just 1100. Now when we get into the p.m.s, instead of subtracting to, you're going to add to. So 120 p.m., you're going to have to add to, so that would be 3 from the 1. So it's going to be 1, 3, and then you just add or the 2 in there, so it would be... 1320. Okay, now 5 add 2, so 7. So now it's going to be 1700. And for the 11, same thing, you're going to add 2, but because it's a double digit, the 1 becomes a 2, and then add 2 to the 1, so 3. So 2300. That easy.